<laughs> what up, YouTube universe? Not sure what the elements are like where you are, but it is raining here in Los Angeles. Doesn't matter though, coming off a big night. Syracuse with the upset over Duke. Also, the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer dropped this morning. So that's why tonight I'm here. We're gonna watch the trailer for the very first time. Tom Holland is back in this one, his second Spider-Man movie, tying him with Andrew Garfield. They're both one behind Tobey Maguire. It also stars Zendaya, Jake Gyllenhaal, Marissa Tomei, I always love her, and John Favreau. And everybody's favorite, Samuel L. Jackson. Anyone who's been following along with our videos here at Laugh Bureau Presents knows I've made some comments in the past about how I've been dissatisfied with other Spider-Man takes, but I will say this, I am optimistic about this trailer. Let's give it a look. Thank you, Spider-Man. That was so good. Hey, sorry I'm late. Happy. You look nice. Thank you, you too. Thank you. New dress? Yes, it is. How'd you know? <laughs> I was hoping John Favreau would be in shape. What just happened? Planning a trip? Mm hmm Going to Europe. It's a school trip. Did you get your passport? Peter Parker here to pick up a passport, please. Mini toothpaste? Mm hmm Pack your suit. I just want to go on my trip with my friends. Europe doesn't really need a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> You look really pretty. And therefore, I have value. No, no, that's not I'm right. messing with you. <laughs> you look pretty, too. I just want to spend some time with MJ. I think she really likes me, dude. That reminds me when I first fell in love. I had just finished my phone call. <laughs> so nice to finally to meet you, Spider-Man. You're Nick Fury. Put some clothes on. Let's go right. for a ride. Is he gonna be okay like that? Might want to turn him over so he doesn't swallow his tongue. I think Nick Fury just hijacked He's our summer vacation. Mode. Awesome! We got gifts, Parker. But we have a job to do. Are you going to step up or not? Friends are in trouble. What are you gonna do about it? You don't want any part of this. He's like Iron Man and Thor rolled into one. He's no Spider-Man. What is it with you and Spider-Man? What, he looks out for the neighborhood, has a dope suit, and I really respect him. Sup, dickwad? <sighs> a lot going on there. I think for the first time since Tobey Maguire in his initial Spider-Man, I felt real sympathy for Peter Parker. Like, I realized, I'm like, just let this kid study abroad for a little bit. Why does work always have to follow him? And of course, you know, duty calls, Nick Fury shows up. Um, I feel like obviously he's gonna get a girlfriend, uh, which that that's a good pull for Spider-Man and Peter Parker. She doesn't realize what she's got to put up with being on that guy's arm. I think the biggest bombshell of the trailer, without a doubt, is Mysterio. Uh, it threw me off at first. I was like, Leonidas? from 300 is in this? He came out and was like, THIS IS SPARTA! There's been a lot of hot takes out there since this trailer dropped. People are kind of freaking out, thinking Mysterio is a good guy. He's actually helping Spider-Man out. But I have a theory that this is all just a big misdirection with Mysterio. I think Sandman, Hydro-Man, I think those are like optical illusions, elaborate holograms. Holograms are big right now. I mean, they, they brought Tupac back at Coachella. They're bringing him back again, but I already saw it. Either way, I think Mysterio was creating those and he's just going to be the same old evil nemesis of Spider-Man that he's always been. 
Also out there, a lot of people wondering if Spider-Man Noir shows up. And it looks like he kind of does, but I think this is tied to the fact that Peter Parker did not bring his Spidey costume on his trip abroad. And that's when Nick Fury shows up and he's like, here, you got to put something on. Because if you look closely, those are Peter Parker's eyes. Another thing that seems to be confusing people is whether or not this movie takes place pre-Avengers Infinity War or post. Because as we all know, Spider-Man died during Avengers Infinity War. My take on that is that, yes, while he did die in Avengers Infinity War, you're still going to have these characters be in movies where they stand on their own. I don't know if this is necessarily a standalone movie. I mean, for all I know, like they could kill off Tom Holland's Spider-Man again at the end of this, and then they reboot it for a fourth time, but this time it's Peter Parker when he's nine. And at that point, I'll probably have children of my own, and I'll be excited to take them to see it. That does it for this episode of Laugh Bureau Presents. Thank you for everyone that's watching. Please subscribe, please like, please share. We love all of that stuff. We'll be back soon, as soon as that next trailer drops. <laughs>